Hello, let me introduce you to my fake wall. Welcome to the new and improved Boo Studio. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We also have a little hot Cheeto that thinks she can escape. You're not going anywhere, Nudie. <laughs> Where'd you go? Nudies! My little hot Cheeto. It's not easy being cheesy. Since I haven't seen you all in a while and I'm trying not to make this intro super duper long, I'm just gonna hit on some Boo Life update points for you all so we can kind of update everybody in a short and convenient time. Yay! All right, now Noodles is on her bed, nice and snuggly, behind us, chilling. I wrote a sticky note on my computer. Okay, so new studio, here we go. Probably the most apparent change that we have. I am super proud of it, I love it. Not only do we have the plants, but we also have colorful chalk markers, as seen here by the Sudowoodoo. Next thing, I actually got to visit LA for the first time ever for a really, really cool project that I can't talk about yet, but expect something very, very cool to have me in it very soon. I'm so excited. It was so much fun. I also found this cute little dinosaur and it was so random and so great. Probably my favorite thing about LA thus far. <laughs> Along with that cool project, I was on a bunch of podcasts as well. Boom, boom, boom. I will link all those below for you to watch. Thank you so much to everyone who had me on their podcast. I actually really like doing podcasts, I found. So, I don't know. The organic conversation, the vibe, it was just, it was overall really nice. So, thank you all for having me on those podcasts. 25th anniversary coming up as well. I have so much planned for that, so stay tuned. Many things happening in the future. Speaking of tournaments, Tuesday nights, we are going to be bringing back Tuesday night WDE streams on the channel bi-weekly. So every other week we will have a stream and then all of that content is going to be split up and casted over and put onto our WDE YouTube channel, which by the way, hit 1K subs. Thank you so much for that. So a lot more content is going to be on the WDE channel. I'm trying to bring esports professional Pokemon vibes to the WDE channel to really show the future of Pokemon. I want to help bring Pokemon into the esports scene as much as possible. So if I can curate content to help that out, I'm gonna do it. So stay tuned for all that as well. So yes, many, many things have been going on behind the scenes. I appreciate all of the support I've seen on the channel and all the social media pages. Noodles thanks you as well. I just don't think I've felt like this confident and hopeful in my own future content, but also just the future of Pokemon as well. I'm so excited for everything coming up. Having ties with so many people in the community and with Pokemon themselves, I've had so many cool conversations the past couple of weeks that just makes me so excited for, for the future. Ah, I just can't wait. Ah, I just want to share it all, but I can't do this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and last thing as well, Potown, one of the sponsors here on the channel. You can buy all of your code cards that you need for building decks online in PTCGO. There, they are the absolute best. Code Pokeboo, 5% off. They sent me this box. This box right here. This is probably the most decorative box I've ever owned. <laughs> so much effort put into this box and I have not had a chance to open it yet. So we are going to open this and see what is inside this box? Oh, what's in the box? I've seriously had it sitting on my desk for the longest time because I haven't been filming videos and Potown's like, Yo, boo, you gonna open that box? <laughs> so I'm sorry, Potown. It took me so long, but let's do this. I'm so excited to see what this is. I have no idea, but I just know the box is really pretty, so I already like it. After the Potown box, we're gonna be opening a Chilling Rain booster box. I've seriously only opened like two things of Chilling Rain. So it is still a very new set for me and I'm really excited to open more of it. Okay, let's do it. Oh snap, oh snap, what is that? Is that a cup? I like cups. <laughs> Maybe I should go main camp for this. All right, first thing. Ooh, t-shirts. What? These are so cute. Oh my gosh, the yellow one. My favorite color is yellow. Oh man, that is sweet. Look at this. This is total Pikachu vibes. This kind of reminds me of like vintage uh, surfer magazines or something. You guys know what I'm talking about? No? All right. Is this a hat? Stop. Holy smokes, this is a hat. I collect hats. I have so many hats. This is amazing. Oh, look at the palm tree on the back. Wow. 
This is super cute. If I didn't have my buns in. Oh, wait, maybe? Maybe? Oh, I can't wait to rock this. This, oh, this is probably gonna be one of my favorite things actually in this whole package. Unless there's a mug in here. I really like mugs. So that's just a problem of mine. Is this a mug? This is, this is a mug. Wow. Oh, I love how clean this logo is. Thank you for the big mug. I can't wait to put tea in it and coffee and all the drinks, just all of them. <laughs> My juice. That's gotta be it, right? Oh my gosh, how many things? Oh, Potown. You know I like yellow things. Stop. I like how the prize cards are laid out as well. Usually they're laid out in a straight line, but that is not ever how I stack my prize cards. They're always like this. So that is super epic. Wow, seriously, this whole package means a lot to me, Potown. Thank you so much. Like seriously, this is one of the sweetest things anyone has sent to me. And I really mean that. It means a lot to me. Is this another mug? Oh. oh, it's a beach. Oh, with the water. This is such a cute mug. This, These are like totally my colors too. I feel like I have to display this one. Two mugs, I got two mugs. I think we're dwindling down here, but oh my God, there's a note. Wow, there was a note in this. It even says frosted caribou on it. I feel so appreciated. Ooh. Inside this care package, you'll find little tokens of our appreciation and the hopes that these items will help you keep living the Po Town life every day. Once again, thank you for the partnership. We are very excited to embark into this new and exciting endeavors together. Thank you so much for this. It means a lot to me is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm the worst. Okay, let's let's continue. <laughs> oh no, I just bought a water bottle too. Oh, I wouldn't have bought it because I would have just used this one because this actually looks sick. Holy smokes. What? This is actually really nice. Even with the top too. These are like, these are like clean tops. These are professional tops. You have a top like this, you're going places in life. <gasps> wow, this is amazing. What is the inside? This is amazing. <gasps> Stop it. What? It's like perfect. Oh my gosh, I've never seen one like this. Okay, so quick story. Usually they're like this and you open them and then there's a little top cubby here. This looks like the perfect size for a 60 card Pokemon deck and all the dice up top and damage tokens. Oh my goodness. And the magnetic clothes. Oh, so satisfying. Oh, I thought I was at the end. I thought wrong. Wow, with the zipper, with the zipper close, you went overboard with this binder. Holy smokes, this is very, very nice, Potown. The zipper clothes are my favorites. I've upgraded all my binders besides like a couple mini ones I have to zipper close binders because they are just too good. And that is the end of our box. Thank you so much, Potown. I appreciate this so, so much. It is really cool to have a bunch of your merch now that I could finally display. Potown was actually my first ever sponsor. They were the first people to believe in me and my content, and I will always be a super loyal fan to Potown, and their team is absolutely amazing as well. So thank you, Potown. I really appreciate this whole care package. You went above and beyond for it. Thank you so much. This is the third thing I've opened from Chilling Rain. Um, we still haven't pulled anything super duper crazy. Our goal card obviously is that Zapdos. I was getting absolutely destroyed playing Eternatus by that Zapdos. It just one shots Eternatus. So that was fun. I made this meme. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. Jumping back in to card openings. Holy smokes, I miss it so much. Grookey, ah, oh, that's like one of my favorite Grookey arts. Mareep, Whirlipede, Reverse Hollow, and first pack. <gasps> oh, the Celebi as well. Celery the Celebi, baby. So this is like 100% a setup card, early game card. Very nice. I haven't really seen a lot of people playing grass, but this seems like a really sweet card to put into a grass deck. So very nice. Makes me kind of hopeful for the rest of this box. Let's hope it goes well. I just sent a box for a giveaway as a battle styles box. Just look at this box. When do you see a box like that? Absolutely amazing pulls. Two secret rares from this box <laughs> that I sent in a giveaway. I don't know what it is. Like every time I send something in giveaways, 
It's just fire pulls. I can't get these pulls for myself, but somehow I, I send these boxes and it's just amazing pulls. So if you ever win one of my giveaways, expect some spice, some absolute spice. Ralts Heracross Cast Form, Malamar Reverse Hollow Nightmare Fuel. This is a very good deck that I have been beaten by many times. So a little squid baby and <gasps> two pulls. Already? In this opening? Full Art Trainer? Holy guacamole! I love that background. It's like ice storm. And then with the uh, the orange jacket as well is super spice. Unfortunately, it's not really a trainer I've seen anyone play. Um, discard your hand. Insert your deck for up to two trainer cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Wow, that's extremely bad. Hello darkness, my old friend. Leave in the comments if you know some way to actually use this card, please let me know. But usually you don't want to discard everything else in your hands. Like you'd want to obviously play this if you have nothing else in your hand, but the odds of you having nothing else of value in your hand and also having this card in your hand to actually play to discard everything else is very low. So that's why it just seems bad, but it's still a very pretty card. So collection. Enhance! Oh, also the Malamar is a rare as well. It's very rare, ah, no pun intended, that uh, <laughs> if your deck is actually good and it's a single prize or baby deck, ooh, fist bump energy, that it's usually a rare card. So I'm not very surprised by that. What? This is a sweet haunter art. Wow, that's nice. Fru Frau, Diglets. I don't know why. I've opened only a couple of things, but I have like very little Fru Frau's. It's kind of weird. Like everything we've opened, we have set numbers of. It's like we have eight of this common, eight of this one, and then we just have like two Fru Frau's for some reason. And it's not even a rare. It's just like it's a rare card, even though it's like a common. Reverse Hollow Melanie. Already striking with those reverse hollows, baby. And. A Zarude as well, a holographic Zarude. I actually just recently explained uh, to Maddie Tingles, I was on Maddie Tingles podcast, that in Pokemon packs, the code card actually reveals what uh, rarity card you're gonna pull. So if you have a green code card, it means you're going to not get a hollow or above, but if it's a white code card, white background, that means you will get a hollow or above. That's why I never look at the code cards. So if anyone was wondering, that is why I don't look at or show the code cards because it would just ruin the fun out of pulling cards, you know? Another Fru Frau. Heck yeah, dude. Venipede. Now I just want to collect Fru Frau's. <laughs> Reverse Hollow Trainer again. That's very nice. And Agron as well. Big stompy boy. First box back. Going pretty well so far. I'm excited for this. Oh no. Right as I say that, there is a bent card. Sadness. Hopefully it's bad. Oh, poor Brawly. Eyeball energy, here we go. Curlia, Fog Crystal. Brawly, Bent Card, Sadness, Ghastly, Kabfu, Hatena, Sable, here we go. Bound Sweet, Reverse Hollow, Bonnet, is that a rare? That is a rare, heck yes. And a Sviper. <laughs> so, Home Skillet, McGriddle Biscuits. Have you been playing? Unite? editing book here. I just watched the trailer for Unite because I was going to clip a little piece to put into the video, uh, but I ended up watching it on silent and it's actually so sad without the like hyped up music. Like, look at this. Pokemon Unite because I sure have. I plan to either do some streams of it or maybe even some curated content, just like, I don't know, highlight reels or something of me playing very poorly uh, <laughs> or me doing good. 
I don't know, maybe. I used to be a Venusaur main until I realized Venusaur was extremely bad. So Venusaur's moves were very low damage output compared to other Pokemon that you could play in the game, but they just buffed Venusaur. So now it's a lot better to play. I've done a few more rounds with it and it's just like infinitely better than it was before. I'm also just bad at the game, so. Cast form, here we go. Reverse hull cast form, that's kind of spice. And last but not least, Galarian Surfetched, non hollow but a beautiful artwork. I tried to make Venusaur work in Pokemon Unite so much. So if you don't know what Pokemon Unite is, it is like a new free-to-play MOBA game. Uh, if you don't know what a MOBA is, it's a multiplayer online battle arena game. So think like live battles online. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain that. Like. It's kind of self-explanatory, I guess. I haven't played a MOBA game since Ragnarok. I don't even know if you consider that a MOBA game. I, I do, I guess, but <laughs> it's an old game, all right? You probably, half of the people probably don't even know what game I'm talking about, but I really liked Ragnarok. That was like the only MOBA I got into, I guess. And something is just really sweet about Pokemon Unite. It puts like MOBA games, like League of Legends is a MOBA, which I only hear is super toxic, uh, <laughs> but, it, it's like in a condensed version of that and it's Pokemon-esque as well. So they're only 10 minute matches, Slurpuff, non-holo, but we did get the reverse holo trainer, which is sweet. They're only 10 minute matches, which is like a lot shorter, I guess, than most MOBAs are. Uh, and then there's just like the charm of Pokemon to it. Like you have the evolving Pokemon, the NPCs are all Pokemon as well. It's really, really cute and I just enjoy it. Run in with your team decorating your character. It's adorable. I love playing Venusaur with the vine whips. I'm just like, Wait! it's so satisfying. I wish Venusaur was better, uh, more powerful. I think they just buffed him in an update, actually. A reverse Hollow Gardevoir, that is a reverse Hollow Rare. Our third psychic reverse Hollow Rare. Eyeball energy for days, baby. And Kecleon as well. Noodles, it's your long lost brother. <laughs> I need to start going faster with this opening. I mean, I'm sure you guys have already seen tons of Chilling Rain openings, uh, just not for me, because I haven't been posting any of them, but I, I'm back on the scene, all right? And so we're gonna be opening lots of Chilling Rain, preparing for Evolving Skies, Dragon Pokemon, making a comeback. That's scary. I do not like that whatsoever, but it is a uh, fist bump fighting energy rare here. I know I have a ton of Lycanroc fans because every time I trash on Lycanroc, they're like, boo, unsub, unsubscribe. <laughs> I don't blame me, okay? Oh, miss. <laughs> when I was a kid, and I mean like a tiny kid, I was in like a little school play and they assigned me the snake role and everything that started with an S that was in my lines, I had to be like, and then like say the word. And I guess I wasn't doing it good enough because they downgraded me to be in a bush. Uh, <laughs> Crabominable, baby! Crabominable! Uh, so, I don't know, maybe it's just some sort of like childhood trauma that I have. I was never a good enough snake, so now I have to prove that I can make good snake sounds. <laughs> Reverse all of Mareep! Oh, snap, this is a good one. Cresselia as well. Beautiful card, beautiful Pokemon effortlessly good in the TCG. And another Psychic Rare as well. What is going on today? All eyeball boys. Dynatree Hill, Justified Gloves, Lucky Energy. Another cast form, heck yes. Quillfish, Ralts, Heracross, another cast form. Reverse Hollow, Crab Brawler, and Volcarona. I miss opening packs so much. I haven't opened a lot of packs. I've been ordering a lot of singles lately to build some decks. Yo, rotation is coming up September 10th. I think I'm gonna do a separate video on rotation, just reminding everyone what it actually means uh, for the TCG game and just for collecting in general. Ooh, reverse hello rare Rillaboom and and a Scolipede as well. So if you're unfamiliar with rotation, how things work, honestly, it is probably the best time to get into playing the TCG because the format shifts completely. Fist bump energy, we're not going to have any more 
uh, Sun and Moon cards to play in standard TCG. It's going to be Sword and Shield on, so it's going to be a completely updated way of playing Pokemon. I am so excited. My favorite card here. Yes. Labopus, grumpy boy, he's disappointed in your life decisions. Uh, <laughs> Clara, reverse hollow, and ooh, Tapu Fini. Yo, I have not pulled this one yet. This is a beautiful hollow Tapu Fini. I also love this Weedle art. Look at this. Not only is the Weedle getting swole right here, but Heracross is also, I think, working out down there doing some uh, some sit-ups. They're getting swole together. I think we're due. I think we're due for a pull here. Some ultra rare and above action? Maybe? Maybe? Uh, I just want that Zapdos so, so bad. Frufrau, another Frufrau. So I'm getting plenty of them now. Oh, snap, reverse holo rare. Very nice. And... Oh, <gasps> I got wrecked. I got wrecked by this deck. Sandaconda V Max. This is actually a card I've really been looking forward to. I'm really excited to build this deck, both online and in person. It is so, so good. I've seen a couple lists for it already, and they are just vibing. They are absolutely vibing. I've been beaten by a couple before. It just works so well with Cheryl to full heal as well, and just instantly attack again. So the Cheryl's, the spread damage, the telescopic sight, all of the combinations you can make with this are just epic. So very, very nice. Also, leave in the comments how you all have been doing. I've missed you so much. I've kind of been on the back burner of things, communicating with people. Honestly, taking some time off of content has let me watch a lot of other people's content because usually I just want to get off the computer that I've been at all day working. Uh, ooh, that's a reverse hello rare fighting boy for us as well. Very nice. And a Golurk as well, trotting through the forest. I've actually been able to watch many streams, kind of engage more in Pokemon content online because I'm not just like, get me away from this forever, you know? And it's been really cool. I've talked and met a lot of really awesome people and it's just restored my faith in humanity meeting such awesome content creators that are extremely passionate about Pokemon, the games, the TCG, everything, plushie collectors, the whole shebang. I'm just... I'm just happy to be involved with such a cool squad, cool community. This is a reverse holo rare as well, another fighting, and oh, I needed this so bad. I ordered an entire playset of Ice Rider Calyrex because I built that deck in person, but I do not have any of the cards for Shadow Rider, so I've been waiting to open this and pull this card. I needed you, Calyrex. I needed you so Bad. This is 100% a top tier deck in the meta currently, mostly because of this ability, Underworld Door. Once during your turn, you may attach a psychic energy from your hand to one of your bench psychic Pokemon. If you do attach an energy in this way, draw two cards. So it's not only energy acceleration, but it's also draw support, which is extremely powerful for an ability. Then we have Max Geist for three colorless. This attack does 30 more damage for each psychic energy attached to all of your Pokemon. And this ability also also stacks. So for each VMAX that you actually have in play, you can use this ability over and over again. So you're pretty much just accelerating tons of energy to your psychic Pokemon and being able to attack very consistently because of that energy acceleration. Very nice card, a competitive card for play as well. And it just fits super well into other psychic type decks. Because even if you're not attacking with the Calyrex, you can attack with other psychic attackers. Gengar Mimikyu is used in lists, Necrozma, Al Creamy as well. It just fits super well into any psychic deck you want to make. So if you like eyeball Pokemon, that's your jam. Your water ball energy, Drizzile, Peony, Coughing, Galarian, your mask. Wear your masks, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Snow Runt, Bound Sweet, Cub Fu, Reverse Hollow, Agatha, and Abamasno! All right, here we go. Steel Energy, Over 9,000 Kakuna, Karen's Conviction, Galarian, Farfetch'd, Porygon, Heracross, Sobble, Inke making a sandwich for you, Reverse Hollow Doctor, yo! What is up with this? We're on track right now to pull one reverse hollow of every supporter. I mean, and we got the full art peony as well. So that's pretty sweet. Oh my goodness. 
Cloud Boy Tornadus V. So Tornadus V actually pairs with Tornadus V Max. I haven't pulled that card yet, so I'm not 100% sure exactly what it does, but I do know it has the potential to one-shot many V Max Pokemon. It is also a colorless Pokemon. So they actually rarely make super duper good colorless Pokemon. I mean, Double was pretty sweet in some decks, but Tornadus V actually being a genuinely okay card to play is really cool in my opinion. I wish Colorless got a little bit more love. Because it's a colorless Pokemon, you can use any energy types you want. It does have access with the VMAX to triple acceleration energy, powerful energy to buff your attacks. And because it's a single strike Pokemon, you can also power it up with Houndooms, which buffs your attacks with single strike energy as well. So you have so much variation with this card to actually build some pretty hard hitting decks. I'll try to find a list to give you all uh, a tornadoes list. Eyeball energy, oh, this card, so pretty. I just wish it was better than what it is. I really do, I love the card so much. Lucky energy, Galarian chest plate. Ooh, I don't have a lot of those actually. Diglett, Score Bunny, Shepet, Cub Fu, Reverse Hollow Cresselia, that is sweet, and a Galarian Weezing, non hollow So even though we got the non hollow rare, we got a reverse hollow rare, so it's, it counts. We still haven't hit a secret rare yet, so maybe there's still a secret rare. We could maybe hit a full art, an alternate art. Crabominables! More Crabominables. I'm super down for that. Ghastly. Ladyba. Oh my god! And a Porygon. A Swirlix. Sneasel. Reverse Hall Score Bunny. And. Oh! Nightmare Fuel. Here we go. Last stretch. Let's power through these packs. See how many pulls we can get. So usually when I get a full art trainer, that means that I also get a secret rare. I don't know what it is. It's like if you get one super good card, somehow you pull a second as well. Like that box that we saw that had two secret rares. Absolutely SpaghettiOs. So hopefully that's the case for us because I think that would be sweet. Hatena, Aaron, Ralts, Venipede, <gasps> Reverse Holo Tauros, heck yes, Reverse Holo Rare, and... Oh, Sandaconda V to match our Sandaconda V Max. We actually pulled the Sandaconda V, so I've already explained this little lemon drop, but uh, it's really cool to have another one to go with our V Max as well. One step closer to building this deck in uh, paper, so that's very nice. That is our sixth pull going into our next pack. I feel super hopeful about this Oh, box. Little Larry. Little Larry gives me hope as well. Drinking out of the fountain of youth. <laughs> Little Larry welcoming Lantern, Grookey, Score Bunny, Aaron, A.A. Ron, as I say, Venipede, Sawsbuck. That is a reverse holo rare. And... Greedence, here we go. Grass Energy, Echoing Horn, Seabold, Cast Form, another Cast Form, oh my gosh, Ladyba, Golet, Clabopus, Reverse Hello Celio, I love this artwork, super cute, and ah, I don't want your candy, Walrein. This Pokemon scares me so much. Like, how does this little cutie, absolutely adorable, turn into this? Oh my God. How? Fist Bump Energy, <laughs> Insane in the Walrein. <laughs> I'm done. I'm sorry. Squove, Sveal, uh, I see. I love Sveal too. Sveal's such a cutie. Reverse Hollow Rugged Helmet and Hatterene Holographic. Here we go. Ooh, is this our first fireball of the day? I think it is. Old Cemetery. Ooh, I could not get that card. Grookey, <laughs> Sneasel, Weedle, getting swole, Galarian, Farfetch'd, Cast Form, another Cast Form, Reverse Hollow, to go with our last one. This is our second one of the day. And, oh, here we go. Celebi V, Full Art. This is an absolutely gorgeous card. There are very few Pokemon cards that do pastels really well. This is one of them. Look at this background. Gorgeous pastel colors. The sparkles are absolutely amazingly placed. It's just, it's like a fairy dream, you know? Celery the Celebi coming in hot with the beautiful artwork. <laughs> I'm very happy to pull this. A full art. We're getting lucky. That's two full arts 
in this box. I'm gonna guess on a more realistic side though that we're probably gonna pull maybe one or two more V cards, which would still be very good. Fist bump energy, bada bing, bada boo. Uh, impact energy, path to the peak. Absolutely broken card. Path to the peak is such a good stadium. It's definitely going to lead the format, I think, pretty heavily coming up post rotation. Venipede, Reverse Hollow, Low Grampy Barry, and Agron again. Dwindling down to the last cards. It's another Fireball energy. Maybe that means good luck. Who knows, Lady Bear? Porygon, Swirlex, Sneasel, Shuppet, Reverse Hollow, and. <gasps> Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Shadow Rider Calyrex V. Absolutely yes. This is exactly what I needed. So card prices have gone up exponentially, which makes it much harder for people to be able to afford buying these cards uh, to actually build in paper decks, actual, you know, IRL decks. So pulling any of these cards for decks is always extremely helpful. I'm very happy about this. Shadow Rider obviously goes with Shadow Rider V Max, which is mainly what you're uh, wanting to evolve into for the final form and use for Calyrex V. But this is the basic version of the V Max. That is a huge win. It is very rare to pull the cards you need for decks out of a booster box. So I'm very, very happy about that. All right, taking it home with the last couple of packs. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching my videos, checking back in on me if you're watching this video right now. I appreciate it so much. There's big things coming for the channel. Reverse Hollow Cobalion. This is a Reverse Hollow Rare. And a Vanette as well. Cobalion, everyone was asking me if I made that little commercial for, for Cobalion in my last video. <laughs> It was so much fun. It looked like a legit cologne commercial. It was so great. Reverse Hollow Cacleon. Heck yes. A reverse Hollow Rare of my boy. And a, oh, a Weezing. This is a non-holographic, but this artwork, I don't know what it is about it, but it is very, very pretty. This is one of those boxes where you're like, heck yes. Yes, with the reverse hollows. I mean, that's like probably one of my favorite parts about booster boxes, all the reverse hollows that you get for deck bling, baby. Reverse hollow feel and ooh, another one. Wait, do we have the hollow? Yeah, oh no, we have the reverse hollow, heck yeah. So now we have uh, the bros, the uh, one, two shrimp combo here. Taco literally just finished sorting uh, all of our chilling rain that we've opened, even though we haven't opened very much. He sorted it all out and so now I'm gonna have to be like, hey Taco, here's more cards. <laughs> Reverse hollow, rapid strike urge to few. I think this makes a play set now that I've pulled. I've gotten really lucky for some reason with this card, so that's pretty sweet. And, <gasps> oh my goodness. I was not expecting another pull, especially a VMAX as well from this box. A Metagross VMAX, zap, traction, search your deck for up to two cards, put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. That's super good for original setup. Uh, unfortunately, it is a VMAX, so you'll have to evolve into it before actually getting to use that move. And then we have Max Rush. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Max Rush attack does 150 more damage. So it's 250 for two energy. While that seems very, very good, it is a circumstantial move because if your opponent ends up using a boss's order or an escape rope or some way to switch your Metagross out, the effect of that extra damage actually goes away. So, so they make it enticing with the low energy costs, but then it's like, ah, uh, are you gonna be able to do it? Are you not gonna be able to do it because your opponent messes it up? You never know. Let's see if we can top it off. Make it a 10 box. I've only opened one 10 box. Actually, I think I've opened one 10 box and then one that I'm pretty sure was like an error box because it had like 14 hits in it. It was absolutely bananas. Uh, so those are my my best booster boxes of all time. Oh my gosh, the Seabolt. Wait, this is one we were missing. The Reverse Hollow Seabolt. Wow, how many supporters am I gonna get? Oh my goodness, and a Gallade. I have like barely any room <laughs> to place these cards. Fist Bump Energy, last pack here. Let's see if it's Spice. I'm probably gonna close my eyes before I open the last uh, card or see him. I like this artwork so much of Heracross. I really like Heracross for some reason. Lava Puss, Reverse Hollow Thwacky, and 
a frost lass as well. Holographic pull to end this box. I feel like we've pulled more than average hollow and reverse hollow rares for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like we were just getting them back to back to back, baby. And I don't know what it is about the supporters. We just got so many reverse hollow supporters, which is just sweet. Like this whole thing right here, bomb.com. Not to mention we had nine pulls in this box, which is absolutely spaghettios. Very, very good. Heck yes, and the Shadow Riders as well, my big headed boys. So hyped about that. Alrighty, thank you so much for tuning into this video, checking in on me and on Noodles as well. We appreciate you so, so much. To infinity and beyond on the channel, everybody, thank you so much for 80,000 plus subscribers. We are so close to the 100,000. If we hit that this year, I'm getting a sea waddle tattoo um, on my wrist right here. So that's gonna be a trip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for all of the support from my patrons. I hope you enjoy the upcoming stickers and pins for this month and all the months after that as well. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And remember, only you can help prevent wildfires. <laughs>